morning, good morning. Okay. Yes, there's not going to be a queue. <laughs> I, I got to speed. I, I think I'm going to have to speed these up because I have four days, including today, of filming. And I have in. In. O. P. Q R S T U V W X Y Z. I have 13, even if I, 12, if I cut out, hmm, cut out Q. I might cut out a couple other ones. Z was a stretch, X is a stretch. I have W, I have V. And I have Y. But X and Z. Okay, no X, no Z. We're making a command decision here. So, i got to do some math. It hurts my brain. All right, let's see. So, I have N, Neo. O is ochre. P is pastel. Q, R is red. Yeah. S is stamp. I'm giving you a preview. T, but I got to do this in my head. T. Oh, tempera paint sticks. Just because I love them. Even though they're... Oh, there's no U either. V, no V. W is Woody's. Stabilo, Stabilo Woody's. Um, y is yellow, because I just love yellow on everything. And Hold on. V <laughs> is Van Gogh. And I think that's all of them. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I could still do two a day. And maybe. I'll do three today. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, we're going to cut off the ones we're not going to use because it's just going to confuse me. And it's easily confused on a daily basis. I was going to do Francesco Zaccarelli, which is an old, old painter from the 1700s for Z. Zuccarelli, Zuccarelli. But that was going to be a stretch. So we're going to, we don't believe in stretching. <laughs> so that's gone. And an X was a Japanese or a Chinese painter. So that's gone from the ninth century. Okay. That was a real stretch too. Oh, Z, Zentangles. I was going to do Zentangles though. Well, okay, I'm going to do Z, too, because I think that's cool. Okay, so now I need to put this on a different piece of paper. Okay, I am trying to think before your very eyes. Okay, um, N, Neo, O, Ochre, P, Pastel, R is red. S is stamp. T, tempera paint sticks, okay. V is Van Gogh. Now you know why it takes me all day to do this sometimes. U, V, W is... Woody's. 
especially black. Y is yellow. Z is Zentangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Divided by two is five. So a couple times I'm going to have to do three, which is fine. I can handle that. I need to put this someplace. Don't listen to the dog barking. Okay. All right. We got a pathway. Um, we're not going to film ahead today. We might have to resort to that in a couple other coming up days, but today we're going to try not to. Oh, hold on a second. Somebody's calling my husband forever. All right. Let's see. First comes Neos, which I think I'm just going to use Neos on the whole thing. I haven't used them in a while. but I do like them. Actually, I do think we're gonna have to go forward here because I've got three that I'm trying to do and I might start this and let it dry and come back and start and paint some more and da 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 da. So I'm gonna fast forward. M-N-N-O-P, okay. Which for the ochre, I'm gonna use this which is not technically ochre, but it's pretty close. And I haven't used this in a long time either. So fast forwarding. Okay, after I painted this, I realized that this is not a glue book page, but I'm keeping it in. Um, and then I decided to cover up those patches, that, that uh, the tabs that I used. And I had three different, two, Two different sketch pad colors. Neither one of them were correct. But then I remembered after I already did this page that this was construction paper, not sketchbook paper. Same weight, same everything, but a different color. But anyhow, that's okay. I, I go over it. It works good enough. Um, I just kind of made some warms and some cools. That's all I did. And blended them together with a lot of water. Um, made a little frame and... I really do love these things. I don't think I use them to their potential or correctly or not that, not a matter of incorrectly, but there's ways that are more effective than what I'm doing. Um, it, it just has dawned on me in the last couple of months. I'm like, you know what? I've seen other people use these things and they're doing it a little differently, but that's okay. That's okay. I still love them. Um, I still value them. I'm still, you know, they're, they're in my glue book because they're valued treasures. Um, so anyhow, but then after I dried it and went back and added a couple other little spots here and there, I'm like, oh, this is in a glue book. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so what letter of my glue book is not a glue book? In. <laughs> For no. <laughs> I had to be my wackadoodle self and go out of my own rules that I don't follow very often. Um, but anyhow, uh, if I sound winded, it's because I have been moving boxes, um, trying, trying to get stuff in this craft room and realizing what I really don't use, nor will I ever use. And if I do, I'm sure it's available on Amazon. Um, is that a little bit, I, I, I have this thing where I'm not a hoarder, really and truly, I'm not, don't spit in your coffee people, but I feel like if I bought something and I don't like it, if I give it away, I'm wasting my money. If it's still here and I'm not using it, it's not a waste of money, which is stupid. I've come to that realization in my ripe old age. Okay, ochre. I'm going down with that. It's kind of, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a color stick of some kind um, fashioned after sewing Taylor's chalk. Um, really beautiful color and some of the color from the front is coming through on the back which is absolutely fine and don't worry i do glue on this one because uh, this is about where i thinking i'm thinking huh glue this is a glue book huh what am i doing wrong here no glue but i, I figure it all out it takes me a while i'm a little slow but um i'm just working in reverse i'm going from pastel to ochre to I don't do anything to the neo color twos, but that's okay. Um, so, 
yeah, I, I'm really coming to that conclusion at my ripe old age that if I give it away, just know that you're not going to use it and you don't have room for all this stuff in your craft room um, without it looking like a hoarder lives there. Um, so, anyhow, I, I'm slowly but surely whittling down a lot of stuff, believe it or not. Um, I got rid of another bag of stuff today, so... Anyhow, so I've been rearranging some boxes now that I have them down to a more manageable amount um, and putting them in hiding places, um, like behind quilts, um, that I'm using quilts for curtains, just the quilt tops, but they're hiding a multitude of scents, so they're beautiful to look at. And the people next door, when the blinds are open, only see beautiful quilts. They have no idea that there's a... highly organized crafter living here anyhow um so i've been doing that this morning um got some more those little tiny pegs that go in like ikea furniture that hold up shelves i lose those more than anything and i had to order some more so i got some um that came in the mail from that there amazon and so this is some watercolor paper that i had um painted before it was in my bag of tricks here from last february and I got some of that and put it down as my underside. And then I started ripping apart little pieces that have pastel colors in them and adding more pastels to it. Um, I absolutely love this one. It might be my favorite. Don't tell the other pages, but it really might be my favorite. I don't know if it's the layers, the colors, um, the combination. I don't know, but I really, really love this. I'm going to try to put it, um, my husband has a scanner in his library. Uh, and so I'm going to go in there and use it and scan this instead of just taking a picture of it and see what it looks like, because I really love this. And I might be able to like fudge it around a little bit on Procreate because there's a lot of gray on the, that middle one right there. Um, but that's what it had on it to begin with. But I might be able to fudge that a little bit on Procreate and bring it to a full pastel background. I just love this. I really love it. Um, it doesn't look as good here as it does in person. It really is pretty. Uh, but anyhow, more about that when I get to it one day. It's on the list of things to do. So, um, yeah, that that's ongoing here too. I don't know where that piece of paper came from on the underneath. I don't know. It might have been a printable from Robin McClendon because that's where I would have gotten stuff like that. It's from her Patreon. Um, I don't know. This was quite inventive, I thought, for me. I, I took where I usually stop and added more, and I love this one, too. Um, yeah, yeah. Lots of ogre going on here. Uh, I really like this one a lot. But anyhow... Um, really like this the the uh, the printable is kind of dark but I think it brings texture and layers to the whole page and it makes it fine our dog is attacking the Amazon driver or Penny the dog next door two doors down anyhow he's really not that fierce if you can hear him he's definitely not that fierce he's behind a glass door so he thinks he's fine and protected uh, anyhow, we have figured out he has learned something else on his own. He has not been to obedience school. We took him to obedience school one day and he would not move from out from underneath my husband's chair. And that's where he learned sit. He observed and from then on he has learned how to sit. But he never participated in the class. He just watched. But we now he now knows drop it. And he knows, and that's because of repetition. Um, and he knows something else. He's, he's three years old. He's learned three words now. Woohoo! Well, he's minding with three words. Let's just put it that way. But anyhow, so I really like this one too. Lots and lots of texture depth on this one, I think. Um, turned out pretty good. Oh, I just noticed they both have three sections here. Oh, well, that's okay. Three like little clusters. And there go the uh, pilots from Shaw Air Force Base. They've been flying over the lake a lot lately. Anyhow, so much fun. So much fun. So much fun today. Um, and I was productive. Afterwards, I 
moved around a bunch of stuff and got rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, and I am giving it to, um, I've given some to our church, the children's like Sunday school room and uh, some other places. So it's not going to waste, but that one, no glue. That's okay. So next we're doing R S. What did I put for T? Oh, tempera paint sticks. Could be Tamoa River paper too, but that's white. And if I glue it down, there's nothing else to do. So I'm going to go with tempera paint sticks because I use them a ton. Even though they're children's craft supplies, I love them. Love them. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. I will be back tomorrow with a couple more letters. Bye.